Okay, guys, um, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next um, task, but I forgot to start the recording, which sometimes I forget to do at the very beginning. So I'm going to repeat myself for anybody who watches the recording what we um, just did. So um, we just did our gratitude. We have a lot to be grateful for on this Friday morning. So we're down two or three things that we're grateful for. We did our non-negotiables, um, five or six things that we have to get done today before our head hits the pillow. And then we just worked on our birthday wishing our Facebook friends a happy birthday and sending them a message, okay? So um, this is going to be a fun work with me Zoom after the big announcement last night. But like I said at the very beginning, um, those are three things that I make sure that I get done every single day and um, getting into a routine, you know, is really important. And sometimes if I don't have time to be able to sit down and um, do it all at once or like on this work with me Zoom, you guys, I do these in the next and crannies of my day. Um, sometimes when I'm picking up my daughter from school, when I'm dropping her off in the pickup line at the grocery store, I think, oh my gosh, I need to do my birthdays and I'll go through and do that. So anyhow, really, really simple. So um, what we are going to work on next, guys, and I'm still kind of thinking about this. If you hopped on a little bit late, I'm still trying to process everything from last night. We had a ball game, and so I was listening to the call on the way to the ball game, and it was just madness. And I haven't even printed off um, the email yet, which is one of the things I usually do to make sure I understand it. But I did go watch um, Carrie Ann's live video this morning when I was getting ready. I'm multitasking. I'm really good at that. I like to listen to something while I'm getting ready in the morning. Um, and so I really have a good idea, you know, about the promotion and the strategy and so forth about it. So that's one of the first things that I always do. Um, but first of all, I am excited for all of you guys to be able to earn one one of these bonuses. Um, I have earned a couple of different um, huge bonuses off of my husband's account. It was a time when I was already um, at 200K. So I went after that under, under his account. So that's something to keep in mind, depending on where your spouse is at or your significant other, um, you could work their account um, to get them to a rank and then that volume is gonna roll up, okay? So strategy is extremely important. And I'm not gonna go through a lot of strategies because um, everybody's gonna be a little bit different and we will definitely talk about that more on Sunday's huddle. This is more of a work with me Zoom. Let's do some things um, to grow our business, okay? But one of the things I want you to think about, and I want to hear from all of you guys in the chat, I want to know what rank that you are going after. Are you going after, have you never hit that 4K rank? Is that the rank that you're going after? Um, or are you going after that 12K rank? Maybe you just started, because um, uh, I know some people that um, my personally enrolled that just started and I'm like, they can get to 12K. They can jump to 4K and also get to 12K by the time this promotion gets over with um, and get that $12,000 bonus. So, you know, what is your goal? What, what do you want to achieve? Do you want a $4,000 bonus? you want a $12,000 bonus? 40,000, 80,000, 200,000. Um, you know, what is it that you want to achieve? And put, I am, you know, 4K, I am 12K, I am 40K, I am 80K, whatever rank uh, or whatever bonus that you're going after. Um, one of the things that is important, you know, anytime they have a promotion or e even with anything, it, just in life, is you guys, you have to believe that it's going to happen. You have to have that mindset. If you're going after a $4,000 bonus, um, 12000 40000 whatever it is, what would that do for you and your family? I mean, really think about that and create a vision board and post all over your house. I am 4K, I am 12K, I am 40K, you know, whatever that you're going after. Okay. So good. I see some of you guys typing in the chat what you're going after. So 
So anyway, that is extremely important. Um, and then, you know, thinking about, let's say I'm gonna use 12K as an example. If you're going after a 12K bonus, um, 12,000 may seem like a lot, but you guys, it really isn't. And if you're going after, you know, a 12K rank, all you have to do is help three people to get to that 4K rank, okay? If you help three different people get there, 4,000 times three is 12,000. You just help three people earn a $4,000 bonus, and then you just put a $12,000 bonus into your bank account, okay? So think about that too. When you kind of break it down, and I like Carrie Ann Webb's um, live that she did. She talked about, you know, it's all about helping other people, and it is, and I've learned that through this business. If you help other people get what they want out of life, you're going to get everything you want out of life, okay? So one of my first strategies um, that I'm going to do, and this is what we're going to work on together, is I'm thinking about my personally enrolled. In fact, I've got a couple of them that are on here. I'm pretty excited about. But I'm thinking about my personally enrolled and what um, uh, basically do, figure out what their goals are and um, what they want to achieve. Now, there's been some people that may have, you know, life happened and they stopped promoting for whatever reason. You know, this could be something to get them back into the game, you know, um, to get them excited. I was sending messages like crazy before the call. Are you getting on this call? Are you excited? You know, building up that excitement and momentum, you know. So what my plan is today, and I actually wrote this down as my non-negotiable, is I'm going to go through my sponsorship downlines. You want to log into your cloud office, go under my team, and then sponsorship downline. That's going to give you your first level of promoters, okay? Start reaching out to those people. <coughs> Sorry, talking too much. Start reaching out to those people if you haven't already. My plan is, is to get anybody... First of all, I want to find out who my runners are. If there's people that was like, you know, I don't want to go after it, fine. I'm not going to spend my time, you know, with them. My time is valuable and I want to spend it with those that really want this and want this for their family, okay? But I am going to help to create that vision for them, you know, and put in their head the mindset that they can do this and I will help them every step of the way. But if they decide not to, that's their that's their that's her choice. You know, I'm like, I said, I'm going to move on with my runners. So what I want to do is make a list of people that are going to run after this bonus and figure out what bonus that they're going to run after. And so then I'm going to um, come up with a strategy, help them come up with a strategy. So get them on the phone so we can talk because it's so much easier to do it that way. So my, I'm probably going to send a text message. I'm sorry, guys. <coughs> I take a drink. A text message to each one of them, ask them if they got on the call, you know, see if they heard about the um, big announcement that was made last night, wait for them to respond back, and then start having a conversation with them, and then say, hey, if they're going to go after this, hey, let's get on the phone, or maybe they don't understand how the promotion works. So then I'll be like, hey, let's get on the phone so I can explain this, and I can share that vision with them, and come up with a strategy. <coughs> Sorry, I got a tickle in my throat. So anyhow, we're going to take a few minutes to do that. Log into your cloud office, go to my team sponsorship downline and start making a list and start reaching out to your personally enrolled promoters.
Okay, guys, um, I am going to continue working on that because that's one of my non-negotiables today. I have a lot of personally enrolled promoters under me and my husband's account. So it's going to take me a while to get through all of those. So um, you can continue working on that. Um, but some of you guys may be, you know, pretty new and you don't have any personally enrolled promoters, you know, right now or very many of them to be able to reach out to. So I wanted to go ahead and give you the next task, um, which is gonna be geared kind of towards it as well. So you can go ahead and start working on that. Um, so if you haven't gotten through all of your current personally enrolled, I encourage you to do that first and then move on to this next task, okay? So the next one, you guys, is going through your customer list, okay? Go through and you can, you know, when you go into the cloud office, first of all, you can go to uh, my team and then my customers. That's where you can find the list of everybody that has a free customer account, okay? And you can sort that list. I didn't know this till a couple of years after being a promoter that you can actually sort the list. But if you go up to the column headings, you can click on that and you can sort however you want to do by date that they ordered, um, date that the account was created, you know, however you want to do that, but start going through that list and think about people that um, um, you can talk to about this bonus opportunity. What I would start with is probably people that are on Thrive right now and, and loving the experience because those make um, really good, good promoters when they're already, you know, experiencing it. And so send them a message, a text message, private message and say, oh my gosh, I, I like to build curiosity and excitement in my messages. <laughs> um, I'm pretty excited about everything. But, you know, when I send a message, I'm like, oh my gosh, did you hear the big announcement that LaBelle just made last night? You know, and leave it at that. Let them respond back um, because I want them to be like, no, what, 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 what's going on, you know, and to get excited themselves. And and then I start having a conversation with them. You guys, a person can join this business and, you know, if they're brand new and um, they can have, um, in fact, I don't know if Melissa's on here, but I have a new promoter. Um, she just hit 4K last month in her first month. So she's going to be going after 12K for this bonus. But she put me in a three-way chat um, with a couple of promoters that um, are potential promoters. They're wanting to. I'm pretty sure they're going to promote. So, you know, I, I want to jump into that three-way chat today and, and share what they can do because they can start off um, promoting and they can go after and they're loving their experience, you guys, but they can um, hit their VIP bonuses and then they can go after that $4,000 bonus or that $12,000 bonus. So I want them to understand. I want to make it as simple as possible. I'm not going to overcomplicate it, but let them understand, you know, what is on the table for them in the next few months and how they can go about doing it and let them know I'm here to help them. Melissa's here to help them. We're going to help them every step of the way. So anyway, kind of treating it like our, our promoters, you know, what would 4,000 do for you? What would 12,000 do for you? So going through those customers to see who is interested in putting some incredible cash, you know, into their pockets. So anyhow, that's what you're going to work on next. Um, so again, if you haven't gone through, I like to prioritize things. And so my first priority is connecting with all my personally enrolled. And then after that, it'll be going through um, my customers. Um, that way I can have a really, by the time I do those two tasks, I can have a really good game plan, what my promoters want to do, how I can help them, and then how I can help new people and help them to be able to earn these bonuses as well. Okay. So we're going to continue on working on those tasks. Okay, Deja just asked a really good question. So I'm gonna, um, it's in the chat. So I'm gonna um, read her question and I'm gonna go ahead and answer it. How do you suggest um, someone brand new go about starting to run for the bonuses? Just started promoting this week. 
doesn't have any customers or promoters yet, okay? This would, really wouldn't be any different than any other time when we start a promoter. Um, you know, what I have promoters do is share their story. You guys, their story and, and what these three steps are doing for them is what gets other people thriving. Um, for example, um, one of my, like I said, my new promoter, Melissa, she put me in a three-way chat. It was with a mother and daughter. So she put them both in the same chat because they're, they're wanting to promote together. And um, she told me ahead of time, she's like, they are loving the product. They feel great. You know, so I didn't go into my story, what it did for me, but um, I knew they were interested in promoting. So I told them a little bit about the bonuses and I'm telling a little bit about my, my journey with promoting. And I asked them, I'm like, gosh, I, I love hearing new people's experiences. What is this? done for you, you know? And so both of them piped in, you know, what their experience was. So, and then we, we had this call and it's been kind of crazy. So I haven't been able to pipe back into the chat, but we added them to our promoter potential page. Um, and they are watching a couple of videos. Um, one of them is, you know, about the vision of the company where they can go with this and about the VIP bonuses. So that's kind of the assignment that we gave them to before they, they haven't even clicked over to be a promoter yet. But what I'm going to work with them on today and, and with Melissa's help is sharing their story. That's how I start off with every promoter. Tell me what your story is. And then I help them if they need help drafting their experience that they can share on social media. And I always have them take a picture of their DFT and include that because when people are scrolling through social media, you guys, it's the pictures that captures people's attention and then they read the words. So always, always keep that in mind. I always try to make sure I have a really good, good picture, you know, with any posts that I make. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to help her to be able to do that, but I'm going to treat them the same way, but I'm, but I'm really going to put that sense of urgency in there. We've got to go, 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 go. You know, if they order, um, I try to get most people to do the 400 promoter kit because that's my favorite kit. So the other thing that I have them do when they order that kit is they get those 10 free samples. And from day one, when they order that kit, I'm like, those samples or in that cloud office ready to go. And so I tell them, you make a list of 10 people and let's get that product out into their hand ASAP. And I will follow up with them and say, you got your 10 people yet? How are you doing on your samples? Getting them out. Um, I mean, I'm on them like, like crazy and say, we got to get this product out, you know? So, but I tell them, be selective with those 10 people, make a list, reach out to them, say, oh my gosh, I started something new. I'm feeling incredible, blah, blah, blah. I've got 10 free samples that I can send out. Um, I don't want to, this to go to waste, but I definitely thought of you. Um, is this something that you would like to experience? Get their commitment. And if they say yes, then I have them get that sample, you know, out as quickly as possible. Um, you know, I just do the same things that I did from the very beginning. And that is just getting product into people's hands as quickly as possible. Um, I still do trials. I bought a trial for me and my husband. That's what got me started in the Thrive Experience and got my whole journey started. And so I think about that. And when I earned my VIP bonuses, it was trial, 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 getting product out into people's hands. And we didn't have those 10 free samples with the 400 kit whenever I started. So that's one of the places I started to have them share their story and then getting those samples out as quickly as possible and then putting those people in a three-way chat so that way I can share my experience which helps them validate the product as well and answer any questions that they have so anyhow that's what I do um, with brand new people Deja
Okay, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and explain another task. We're not going to have time to do all of it on here, probably none of it, but um, originally this is one of the things I wanted to work on with this work with me Zoom, but then the promotion came out and I was like, okay, I need to do a task around that. But I feel like that this is equally as important, um, especially with this promotion that they just announced, okay? So we've been talking a lot on our Sunday night um, weekly huddles about stories. We've been talking a lot about that the last couple of months, just how important that is. Um, a lot of people, what I'm finding is they are either Facebook scrollers, they scroll through Facebook or they watch stories, okay? And I like stories because you can click on it and see who all is viewing it. So you can see who's kind of kind of plugged in. And then there's a lot of things that you can do on your stories. Um, to encourage interaction, okay? So stories is kind of like showing, you know, what, what's going on throughout your day. Um, and when it comes to Thrive and Lavelle, you, it's a great way to be able to share the Thrive experience, the business opportunity, and so forth, um, showing you know, you're taking your three steps. I posted a picture of my capsules. I was taking my capsules this morning. So anyway, um, I have watched some people in the last couple of years that are really, really good at their stories. Um, I have improved greatly, but I st still continue continuously learning. And I like to watch other people's stories that I feel like do a really good job so I can look to see how I can improve on my stories, okay? And so um, by watching some other leaders in the company that are good with stories, um, a lot of them use apps. And that's what I started using, I don't know, about a year, year and a half ago or so. And there's several different apps that you can use for your stories. Um, but one of my favorites that I like, it's called um, Art Ori, A-R-T-O-R-Y, Art Ori, okay? Um, and it's a way that you can share your journey or your story, okay? And you can put it like in different slides in there. And then you can save it in an album in there because um, it takes a little bit of time to go and create. But then you can reuse that over and over again, okay? So for example, I've got um, one on my Thrive experience, you know, how I kind of got started with Thrive, what the product did, did for me and so forth. And it's several different, different slides. And then I always put a call to action at the end, you know, um, you know, do you want more information? I do usually some type of poll, more information or trial, you know, something like that, some kind of call to action. Um, so you got to get really good at sharing your story, you know, not just that you're taking the capsules, you're drinking the lifestyle mix and you're playing the GFT, but what is your journey? And a really good book, we've talked about this before you guys, let me grab it, is um, Building a Story Brand. Um, by Donald Miller. Okay. Really, really good book. Um, I usually like audios, but with this one, I recommend actually getting, getting the book, but it helps you to be able to build your story brand, you know, and to build your story. And you can have different stories for different aspects of your life. And then also with your business and, and with Thrive. So I want to give you an example because there's a girl, she's another 200K leader. Um, oh my gosh, she does so good on her stories and she's always she's going live she's showing what her kids are doing she's showing the fun life that she's having um but she's also talking about um her thrive experience and she's talking about her business so she uses um the same app that i've been been using i, I recognize it by some of the pictures but and i'll try to show you one that she has because I took screenshots. Sometimes when I get ideas from other people, you guys, I like to take screenshots of it and save it in my phone so I can go back and use it as inspiration. <laughs> um, but I don't know if you can see that. But look, she's cute as a button, first of all, but that's her family. Okay. So this is um and she used the Artori app to create this. Okay. And I know you probably can't see the wording, but there's some wording down there at the bottom and the and the white. And she says, poof, proof. Um, exclamation point, because until you see my full story, you won't believe it. Okay. So I liked how she started that because it kind of captures your attention. You're like story, you know, what story are you talking about? And then, you know, you go on to the next part of her story. I took screenshots of all of them. There's several different ones, but this one um, has some before pictures of her. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but she put two before pictures of herself. Um, and she said, this was me. 
Um, I may look happy, but after having both kids, I gained 30 pounds. Um, for a while, I was struggling on the inside. I was overweight, exhausted, moody, and had lost my purpose. Okay, so she explained where she was at before she started her Thrive experience. And what that does, guys, is it gets people to be like, that's me. I want to lose weight. I'm moody. I'm grouchy. I can relate to that. Okay, so she's sharing, which is a lot about, you know, building a story brand. She's sharing where she was at before. Okay. And then the next one, another really cute picture of her. You know, and then you, I know you can't see the wording, but she got some wording on top and wording on the bottom. It says on July 5th, 2019, I said yes to a five day sample of premium grade nutrition. Okay. So she just, it's kind of like a storybook and she's flipping the page, you know, and, and you're kind of reading the story as you go and, and you're being pulled along in her journey. On July 13th, 2019, I signed up as a Lavelle promoter. I love the product so much. I decided I wanted to share it with the world. Mind you, I had absolutely no network marketing experience. So she's putting that in there to let people know. So if they're watching like, oh, she probably has some kind of experience. That's why she's done so well. No, I had no experience with it. So I love how she put that in there. Um, uh, no network experience coming into this and I was working full time. So putting down, I did this in the nooks and crannies of my day, you know, as I got started. And I won't go through the entire because there's several screens of it, but she just continues going on through her journey. She talks about her first two weeks, how she hit her VIP bonuses. Um, she talks about refer, refer to yours is free and she even includes the refer to graphic. My lighting can't see it really good, but she includes that at the very top of that. And then she put, um, the uh, picture of when she hit the very first rank of the company of 4K. And then she went on and talked about, you know, her car bonus, you know, that, that she earned. And so basically she's just sharing, you know, this happened and this happened and this happened and this happened, you know, and so forth. I don't remember what she put down at the end. Let me see here. It goes on several screens, but it's good because it's showing people the story. She talks about the relationships, the, the people that she met, the friend, friendships. Um, and then she, the very last screen that she has, um, it says, you're the only one holding you back from the dream, dream life you deserve. I get it. I was scared, but I took a leap and it changed my life and my family's life. Okay. So she put in there, I was scared too, you know, um, because people are reading, they're like, oh, I'm too scared to be able to do this, you know? But she's like, I was scared too, but I'm so glad I took that leap, you know. Then she included a poll. And um, if you don't have polls work on stories, definitely get used to doing polls. They are great because people can just click. It's like voting. They're voting on two different things. And so she put two different options on there. And we talk about this on the Sunday huddle sometimes is to never put a negative response because if you put down, no, I'm not interested, you don't want people clicking on that, <laughs> you know? So always put two positive responses. So one of her on her poll um, that's on there, it says, let's go, let's go or let's do this, I'm sorry, let's do this. And then on the other side, curious, more details. So people have those two options. Let's do this, yes, I'm in, I wanna do it, or I want more details, you know? So anyhow, this is, you know, just a great example, you guys, on how to utilize your stories. And you can do this with a lot of different, um, aspects of your life, you know, but you can also use it with, with Thrive. Um, I have one specifically just on the product. She doesn't go into a lot about the product, a little bit. I was tired, exhausted, you know, moody, overweight, this, you know, but not, not a whole lot. So I've got one that goes more towards the product, you know, what, what those three steps have done. Um, but what I'm really working on, I've got one on the business side, like what she has, but just getting into more detail of taking those steps and walking people through my journey. And you guys, she probably posed her business journey um, at least once a week, um, if not more. I mean, it seems like it's constantly on her story. So it's not like it's something you can just put up and be like, okay, I'm done. It is 
it's marketing. You know, you're constantly sending that message and sharing with people. And she changes up her stories um, as far as the pictures and the layouts and, and different things. But if you use that app, you can actually, it saves it in there. So it makes it really easy to go back and to reuse. So, you know, one of the um, uh, tasks I was gonna have you guys work on today um, and what we can talk more about this on a Sunday huddle too, but is really thinking about your story, thinking about your journey and writing that down and articulating it. Okay. So writing down those steps, and that's going to help you to kind of formulate your story and then go and play around with the app. Um, it may take you a little bit of time to, to kind of get used to it, know how it works. I had to kind of play around with it to kind of figure it out. But once I did, I was like, oh my gosh, this is really cool. It's actually a lot of fun. I like using it and, and creating my stories through there. Um, so play around with the app or there's other apps out there too. You can go and search for them. Um, some people, I know there's another one that I have. It's called Story Check. Um, so I know people that use that one as well. I like Artory better, but it's just a personal preference. I mean, they're both really good apps. So anyhow, um, there's apps out there as far as, as far as options. But when it comes to this business opportunity and with this bonus, I'm sorry, with this but business, sorry, with this bonus opportunity that is out there, you can really utilize um, your stories and sharing your story and talking about this bonus opportunity and posting them on your stories to get people interested, okay? So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do it as a task. But that's gonna take a little bit of time. It's not something you can just do on a work with and Zoom within an hour or so. Um, but anyhow, I wanted to share that and encourage you guys to work on, work on it. So other than that, you guys, um, continue today working on your sponsorship downline, reaching out to your first enroll, get them on the phone for those that are wanting to run, figure out what their goals are. Um, and coming up with a game plan and then also reaching out um, to people that are on your customer list, any kind of potentials and so forth, making sure, you know, put that excitement out there. Um, let them know, you know, what, what's out there, what's on the table um, and work to get them on the phone as well and to set goals. And then Sunday night, we've got our Sunday night huddle meeting. Um, and so definitely tune in to that. Me and Carrie Ann are gonna be leading that. And we're gonna talk on more about strategies on what you guys can do to be able to earn that bonus. So with that, we're gonna sign off today. So thanks guys, we'll talk to you later.